Welcome back. Today we're going to go over a little bit of a taping for tennis elbow or medically known as lateral epicondylitis. I've got my good friend Billy Joe Jim Bob here and we're going to work on his elbow here, right? This little knob that you can feel, probably not be able to see, but feel right there is your lateral epicondyle. And it has a common extensor uh, tendon that comes off of that and it goes out to the all the fingers and wrist and what its purpose is is to be able to extend the fingers and the wrist so hold that for me there billy joe and don't let me pull it down and you see the massive muscle uh, tension that's occurring there and that's all the tendons that are coming right back to this bony prominence lateral epicondyle good and relax and with overuse that can cause damage strain and micro tearing and a lot of inflammation. So what we want to do is give it a break, all right? Take some pressure off of there. So what I'm gonna do is show you a tape job today to help provide that. Halloween's coming up, so I thought orange would be nice and appropriate. Unless you're watching this in July, then forget it, I just like orange. So we're gonna measure it from just, just above the lateral epicondyle down to the wrist, a little bit beyond. It's always better to overcut than to undercut because you can always take some away. You round the edges like we always do. And I'm gonna make a little donut hole here to go over that bony prominence. Looks just like that, okay? And so that's gonna go right there, and this is gonna come further down here. Again, you try to not touch the tape. I'm gonna mark where that bony prominence is right there. Covers right about that, okay. So this tape is gonna go right over the top of that. And you want to put the wrist on stretch. And I'm doing this tape job to assist this muscle in working so it doesn't have to work so hard. So we want to put about 15 to 25% tension on the tape. No, ten no tension at the, at the base. 15-25% through the target zone and then again no tension on the end right there and you rub it to activate the glue and so what that should do is assist this tendon in pulling his wrist up okay take some pressure off it I'm also going to do another corrective taping on there more of a mechanical correction. So this one's going to be about a 50% tension. And it's going to be more of a Y cut, as we've talked about in our other videos. I still want to round off the edges. Okay, and you tear, tear each tail separately. Take the base off. And you've, most people have heard of uh, tennis elbow straps. You usually want to apply those just about one inch below the bony prominence right there to uh, make the tension of the region of pull from the tendon here where my thumb is and take the pressure off of that. This is this tape is going to try to uh, assist with that. No tension there. About a 50%, so I go 100 and I back off about halfway. So 
same thing, 100, back off. And no tension on the tail. Okay, and there you have it.